In my book, uh, The Hockey Stick and the Climate Wars, um, I coined a term, the Serengeti Strategy, um, and it harkens back to an experience that I had uh, when I was working on the third assessment report of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change um, back in the late 1990s. And I was at a conference um, towards the uh, latter stages of uh, the writing of the report in Arusha, uh, Tanzania, where we went on a safari. Um, once we were done with uh, the scientific work we were there to do, um, we took a half-day uh, safari into the uh, Serengeti Plain um, in one of those, you know, buggies uh, that allows you to really, you know, drive through the wilderness and, 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 and get up close and personal with, you know, magnificent animals like lions and zebras and giraffes, uh, hyenas. And one of the, the scenes that I saw um, on that day uh, was this sort of wall of zebras standing back to back and forming an almost continual uh, wall of stripes. And our tour guide explained that what they were doing <coughs> was creating this seamless sort of um, continuous pattern that is unidentifiable as a zebra. Um, and it's a way of protecting yourself against attack. Um, you stay with the pack. You blend into the pack. The zebras, you know, th those zebras are safe. Um, the, the lions won't see them and they won't pursue them. It's going to be those zebras who stray from the pack, who find themselves off out alone, who are going to be vulnerable to attack by the lions. And so I used that analogy in my uh, book to describe the phenomenon where uh, by you know, professional climate change uh, deniers, industry-funded attack dogs, um, and the facilitators uh, will look for individual scientists who have been separated by the pack, who have published a very prominent study and are getting a lot of focus and attention. And they'll go after them and they'll try to bring them down just like the lions try to bring that zebra down to intimidate them, to try to send a message, to stop doing what you're doing, stop trying to communicate, you know, the your research and the implications of your research to the public because it's a threat to, to the, the fossil fuel interests. Um, and it's to send a message to other would-be science communicators that if you do this, uh, we're going to come after you too. Um, it's an insidious uh, sort of strategy that is used in the you know, larger campaign to deny climate change. Um, and it's something that I have been subject to personally.